Hey guys, as you can see, I have a guest today. It's the bestie. Hey, we are out on a little journey today. We are going to visit some black owned restaurants here in the Chicagoland area. I think we are in, where are we at? High Park? High Park. Yeah, we're in High Park. And the first restaurant we're going to visit is the Soul Shack. I've heard a lot about it. I heard that the food is really good. I'm a foodie, so I'm gonna be able to tell you if it's good or not. <laughs> I heard they had some really good egg rolls. I'm gonna try that. I'm an egg roll girl. I'm gonna try to try something new. Yeah, I hope you do, because she likes to stick to just the basics, like chicken. Mm -hmm. Chicken, and um, I wanna try the chicken and waffles too, but mm. I don't know. I didn't eat anything last night for this day. So we're going to visit like a few uh, restaurants in the area. Area. We're going to visit a few restaurants in the area. I'm getting a little choked up because I'm a little hungry. I'm thirsty too. So uh, come along on this little journey, guys. We're going to take you along. I'm looking around because there's so many people over here. It's really crowded in High Park. So definitely if you come down here, you're going to have to be prepared to do the pay to park in this area or like park on a block where it's free parking because there's no parking garages around here. So we're getting ready to pay to park. I'm waiting on this elderly guy in front of me to get out of his trunk so I can finish like getting my car in the parking space because I'm not all the way in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, come along with us. It's gonna be fun. I can't wait. We're gonna mm -hmm. show you everything. Yeah, hey. more to come. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. This is gonna be part one. Yeah, part one. Part one. We're going to do a part two, but this is going to be part one because we can't eat all this food in one day. So, part one. Yeah. All right. Come on, guys. Okay. So, we have arrived at the Soul Shack right here. It's on 53rd Street. So, we're going to go over and see what it's all about. It doesn't look like they have a line or anything, so let's go in. Okay. So, we're sitting outside. It's a nice outside area. They got the little umbrellas up for us really nice and we have a little table with the water and everything and we have the menu here they have the soul rolls they're supposed to be really good so i'm definitely gonna try that and i, I don't know about the fried chicken and waffles or something yeah we'll see i'll let you guys know we order Everybody, so we're here at the Soul Shack. We placed our order, but I was so excited to get the Soul Rolls, and they were all sold out last night. So, no Soul Rolls today. So, we're just gonna order, we're gonna share the smothered chicken, and we'll see how that is. But I really wanted those Soul Rolls. I'm gonna have to come back now and try the Soul Rolls. Okay, so since they didn't have the soul rolls, we are gonna ask them maybe if we come back a little later because we're gonna be in the area, will they have some ready? So we'll see how that goes. So far, the experience is really nice. Everybody's really nice. The staff is really nice. So that's a good thing because I love customer service. That's one of my biggest things, customer service. So the customer service so far is good. Good to okay, go. So our food just came. Everything looks delish. It looks delish. So we got the macaroni and cheese and the um, um what are these? The yams and the sponge chicken looks amazing. Um, so we did ask about the soul rolls. They said that they just didn't get a chance to prep them. And you know the guy was really nice. He even said like if y'all come back, we'll get y'all a free one on the house. So I appreciate that. So let's try them. Okay, let's try this food. Today. Okay, so we're we're tasting the food. Where we got we got the smothered chicken and the uh, the mac and cheese and the yams. Oh yeah, and the yams. The um, the macaroni and cheese is really good. Yams are good. Chicken is really good. I like smothered chicken. My mother used to make smothered chicken. I haven't had smothered chicken in years. It's yeah. good. It's good. So everything's really good. It's really tasty. Tam, you like the chicken? I like the chicken. I think I like the chicken the best out of everything. Okay. I like the yams better. I like the yams. I'm a yam girl. But everything is really good. 
and seasoned very well. I thought that the chicken was a little salty, but I'm not a seasoned girl. So like, I don't use a lot of seasoning on my food, but Tam said it's really good. So yeah. I'm gonna eat another piece of chicken because I like some other chicken. So I'm gonna eat a little piece and it's probably just my taste buds, but she said it's really good, so it's good. It's good. You guys should come over to the Soul Shack and try it out. Support black businesses. Right, Tam? Yeah. Support them. We need each other. <laughs> okay, guys. So the next restaurant that we are going to visit is black owned. Can't believe it's not meat. It's a vegan restaurant, black owned. So here's the menu. And I heard that they have some type of egg roll here. <laughs> this would be like my second restaurant going to try to look for an egg roll. Some type of egg roll. But I don't know. We'll see what we're going to get here on the menu shortly. So we're at the Can't Believe It's Not Me. I think I'm gonna try the, I can't believe it's not a pizza puff. She won't try it. She's talking about she can't eat fake meat. No fake meat for me, no thank you. <laughs> so, what are you gonna try? Um, you gotta try something. Girl, maybe a smoothie? A smoothie. Okay, she's gonna get a smoothie and I'm gonna get the pizza puff because that's the closest thing I can find to an egg roll. Yeah, you know we got these masks hanging off our faces, so yeah, that's that. Let's go in. Okay, so we just placed our order at um, Can't Believe It's Not Me. I don't know why it's so hard for me to remember the name of the restaurant. What is going on? So we're over here. It's pretty busy at 11 o'clock, 12 noon. It's 12 noon. Yeah, it's very busy over here. So be prepared to wait because she told us the wait was 25 minutes. So that just makes that they're cooking everything fresh, I guess. Yeah. So we're just gonna wait. We're gonna be patient. Patient. We have to have patience. Get out early. Get out early if you wanna come over here because you gotta find a park, then you gotta wait for the food to get ready. So just be prepared, guys. But so far, so good. Move over some, guys. Okay. Okay, hey everybody. So as you can see, we're back in the car. We went to the Soul Shack. Soul Shack was really good. Customer service was A1. Um, they didn't have the Soul Rolls, but they told us, hey, if you stop back by, you know, we might make them up, prepare some. They didn't get a chance to prepare. And we wanted to be there really early. So we were, we started our visiting at 11 a.m. Yeah. Because that's when they opened. So. We figured everything would be ready. But the food thus far was really good. Soul Shack. Soul Shack, I, I like the chicken more than the sides. Okay. Um, you know. And it's good that we're being honest, okay? Yeah. Because you want people's honest opinions. To me, I thought the sweet potatoes were really good. Tastes like something that I would make. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were really good. The mac and cheese was good. I enjoyed that. Um, I would have liked like a little piece of cornbread. I should have ordered some cornbread to go with it, but I didn't. Um, I thought that the chicken was a little salty with the gravy, but because I'm not a seasoned girl, I don't use a lot of seasoning, I figured it was too salty for me. But after I ate like another piece, it started tasting like regular. So it was really good. I enjoyed it. She really liked the chicken. She told me yeah. it wasn't salty. So the I said, maybe it's just salty. me. Maybe it was, it's just it was me. seasoned well for me. Um, and it had a different taste to it. And I'm out here to try something different today. Mm -hmm. So that's what I liked about that. Okay. So, so that was good. So we give it a good. thumbs up. Yeah, we we definitely good. give uh, Soul Shack a thumbs up. I would like to go back and try the lamb chops because I'm, I'm a lamb chop girl. I love lamb chops. So I would definitely like to go back and try the lamb chops. I wouldn't mind trying the salmon as well. So we're definitely going to go back to the Soul Shack, but it won't be in part two. 
So part two, we're gonna do other things. You can't believe it's not meat. That's the second restaurant that we tried today. They didn't really have seating. They had outside seating, but I really don't like those high chairs that you gotta like crawl up into and sit down. I don't. And your legs got a dangling. Yeah, and your legs are dangling. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of uncomfortable for me because I'm short. I don't. I don't like all of that. So, yeah. um, you know, they were really busy. Yeah, really busy. I was really shocked because we finished at the Soul Shack. We we were sat there for about 45, maybe an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, the can't believe it's not me. They got people like standing outside waiting. So definitely have some patience when you go there yeah. because they're cooking it up. Forty, yeah. yeah, 25 minute, yeah, and they not text bad. you when it's ready. Um, everybody was really nice. You know, I'm big on customer service, so like. A1 customer service um, and you could tell that the food is good because they had a big crowd outside and it was 12 noon by the time we got there yeah. so sorry guys so uh, it was 12 noon by the time we got to the can't believe it's not neat but we couldn't eat out there so now I'm trying the food in the car what you get it's no eating I got I can't believe it's not a pizza puff and some french fries <laughs> Everything's good. The fries are good. Fries are good. Mm -hmm. Everything's hot. Mm -hmm. The pizza puff is hot. It's hot. I got a smoothie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a you got the smoothie. Tropical smoothie. Tropical smoothie. smoothie. How do you like it? It's not very sweet. It's really sour, actually. So, really, and I'm yeah. surprised because sour, I would have thought they would have added a little agave to that. But it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. So here's a piece of puff. I'm gonna try it. Mmm. That's good. Does it taste like meat? Can you really, really believe it's not meat? I know it's not meat. It's not a fooling at all. I know it's not meat because I know what vegan meat tastes like. Mm. But it's good for a vegan pizza pie. So it's a good substitute. Yeah, it so. is. And then they ask you when you get it, do you want it with vegan cheese or regular cheese? So I, I assume they're making these up fresh in the back because, and I got this with the vegan cheese because if I'm going to get something vegan, I want to try it with the vegan cheese. So, yeah. Mm. It's tasty. Mm. It tastes like a pizza puff to me, really. But I can tell with the meat. I can tell. So how's the texture of the meat? Is it? Um, it's it's the same. It's like ground, okay. like like almost like a ground beef texture. Okay, so it's not like a, a bean or anything. It's actually. No, like, I don't think so. I just think it's okay. vegan meat. Okay. But vegan meat is like <laughs> sometimes vegan people, meat. Sometimes they use mushrooms um, to make the ground meat type mm. of things. Um, yeah, I sometimes think they use beans. Spinach burger. Mm. Um, so that's what I was asking. It could probably be texture. like some type of bean burger or something. It has spinach in it, so that's really good too. But it's really good. I I like it. Okay. I could see myself ordering this again. But you know, um, at the I'm going back to the Soul Shack because I really I have my mouth ready for those she don't uh, get Soul these Rolls. rolls <laughs> I just knew what they were gonna taste like, but that's okay. I'm gonna try them next time. So, what was in the soul roll? What what is supposed to be? I think in it was those? like macaroni and cheese and greens and stuff. And all. Okay. So there Something was no like meat in those. You could get them with meat though. Uh -huh. They did have that option. You can get them with jerk chicken. Okay. So they did have that option, but we're gonna go on to our next restaurant. Where are we going? Uh, the corn fries stuff. Fry Styles? Yes. And where is that? Or is that in it's the in, High Park area too? I think it's on 5069 South Prairie. 
So, it's a little further yep. west. Mm -hmm. Okay. But um, maybe 10 minutes right from here. Okay. So, we're going to try that. And just to go back to can't believe it's not me and the soul shack they're right next door to each other so if you do come over and you want to try them they're right next door to each other so you can just try one and then go to the next so let's go over and try some fries okay so we are now at fry styles restaurant tammy picked this restaurant <laughs> it's black owned so we're gonna go in and try it and see what it's all about it's fries right the base is fries she said you can get like stuff piled on top of your fries. So we're gonna try it. I'm gonna take you guys in with us. Come okay guys, so we're over here at Freestyle. Fry. Is it called Freestyle? It's Freestyle. Freestyle, okay. Yes. Fries, uh, no. Scratch the fries. <laughs> I just added something. We're over at Freestyles. It's a black owned uh, restaurant as well. Mm -hmm. um, again, we, we're like out here early, 12 noon. It is 1.30 p.m. So it's like right around lunchtime. So as soon as like we went in the restaurant, it was like 10 people came in behind us. Right. They had to actually make some people go outside because there's way too many people in the restaurant. So again, when you come into these restaurants, you know, they're getting hit hard. Like, you know, people, 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 left and right. So you have to have patience. Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna take them, they said 10, 15 minutes to make our food, which is fine. Yeah take your time and they're actually in there cooking everything up now so we're gonna let some people get their orders in and then we're gonna go back in and pick up our orders so the place smelled amazing it's amazing I wish I could try more than one thing but yeah uh, uh, what did we get we, we're getting the lamb free what do they fright. call it fright the lamb fright the lamb we're getting the lamb fright that's what it's called. Or it's like fruit. fries or frites. I think it's frites. Frites? Yeah, I'm going to ask her when we go back in. Lamb frites. frites. Yeah, I think it's frites. Um, we're getting that. So it's like fries with like lamb and like sauce on the top. So mm -hmm. I never had anything like I it. I can't wait. So I can't wait. We both like lamb. Mm -hmm. We're lamb chop girls. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go back in and pick up the food. Then we'll come back and show you guys. Again, we're at Freestyle. That sauce. Lamb sauce. I know you love some sauce. I do. I love sauce. Okay. Hey, guys. We're back. We just uh, got our food from Fry Style. Or freestyle. 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 We keep messing up the name. I'm so sorry. So, we are Freestyle, and we have a lamb frite. Mm -hmm. That's what they call it. Lamb frite. Yeah. has fries at the bottom, lamb on top, and like some lamb sauce. So, we're going to try it. First timers here. We're in the car eating because they don't have inside eating right now because of the uh, pandemic. So let's try it. it. Smells good. So let's try. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. That's good. I like that lamb. I can't taste the potato though. I, I can't taste, taste the, the fries. I do. I can't taste. I'm trying the fries. to get my my mind wrapped around the French fry together with the flavors. I taste the lamb more than anything. I do not taste these french fries. Being on, I, I definitely taste the potato. Maybe you need a bigger bite. Mm -hmm. See here. I'm still lamb filled over here. I don't taste any potatoes. That's good though. And they give you a lot mm -hmm. in this little box. And you know the lady, the, the meal was like $22. Yeah, with the sodas. With the sodas, 22, with two sodas. She was like, that was it? Oh my girl, I cannot eat all this. I, I definitely, you cannot eat this by yourself. Yeah, this is, yeah. Because this is not something that I think I would be able to reheat. I'm not a big, mm -hmm. I don't reheat french fries very mm -hmm. often. Right. But they are very, very crowded. Like, people are coming in and out. It's good. It's good. I like it as something new. The lamb is kind of shredded. Yes, yeah, shredded lamb in the french fries. These are like the home cut fries. Yeah, and the, the what is it called? What's the sauce called? Te, tahiki or? Tzatziki sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. I've never had anything like this before. Yeah. And it's either. really good, so 
give it a try because they have like chicken alfredo mm -hmm. um what is it? chicken they have like a barbecue chicken with mm -hmm. fries and stuff so we chose the mm -hmm. lamb because it's different yeah because we had chicken at uh, the soul shack so yeah that's good that's good i like it yeah i would come here again just to try something different i would probably yeah. try the alfredo next i would try the alfredo next um or the the wings I'm and then they give girl. you a coke in a bottle you know a coke in the bottle is the best coke yeah it's much better than the ones in plastic um and in the can to me but um these fries baby fries are good mmm good it's really good I can't eat it too much a bit yeah, it's like just enough. It's, yeah. That's why we sharing it because it's like a taste, a taste test. That's what we're doing. Yeah. This was the third restaurant for today. Yeah. And so now we're going to go try something sweet. Yeah. They, um, we're going to go to Let's Get Poppin'. I think that's what it is. Let's Get Poppin' Popcorn. Okay. Best popcorn on the south side of Chicago. It just knocks Garrett's right out the box. Really? I used to be a Garrett's girl. Yes. I had Garrett's yesterday. I used and to I be a like, Garrett's Ooh. girl. <laughs> I like, mm, we're supposed to get popcorn the next day, but that's okay. Mm -mm. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, okay, but I used to be a Garrett's girl, but not anymore. Let me tell you something. Every time someone mm -mm. tells me something's better than Garrett's, <laughs> I'm disappointed. Mm. Every time. Because they told me that Mariano's popcorn was better than I don't Garrett's. like Mariano's I'm popcorn. Like, no. no, it's kind of dry. But this so, right here, he puts his foot in this popcorn, okay, honey. It's well, a family-owned business. Well, black home. Um, and he's always busy. Like, okay, y'all want some of these fries and this lamb? Come over to yeah. Freestyle. Right. Freestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on over here. Yeah. But we're going to go on down to uh, Let's Get Poppin' and get some sweet treats. Okay, so you can see we're at, what's this place called? Let's get popping. Popcorn. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna see what it's all about. I know what it's all about. This is our first time. So it's definitely better than Gary's, okay? Just so you know. I know what kind I want. And then they weigh it. They weigh it and like seven dollars and fifteen cents worth. Um, Anything else? Yeah. That's really good. Look at that. That's what I got. Anything else? That's it for me. What you want to? Um, uh, 385 season time. Hey y'all. Hey, <laughs> so we just left. Let's get popping gourmet popcorn. Uh it's on 119th and like westernish or whatever. Um what's this? Okay. So this is her first time here. I told her the popcorn is better than Garrett's. I want her to try it first because I already know what it tastes like, okay? What it tastes like, girl? It's good, but it's not better than Garrett's. Girl! That. <laughs> it's better than Garrett's! You don't think that it's good? Uh-uh. It's, it's okay. I don't think it's, it's better than Garrett's. Garrett's popcorn is hard. And it be old sometimes. But this is popcorn. It's good. It's good. She likes it. She'll... Just let that marinate. Let me have that marinade. Exactly. I I have the uh, red pepper popcorn. It's so good. And I always get the cheesy caramel to go with this because the sweet and the hot just goes together. So good. And then I always have to get like the hubby and my mom and the boys like one of these to share. Chris will have his own. But uh, yeah, and I got that one too. <laughs> We like popcorn, so it's gonna be on and popping, honey. This is mine. That's hers, but this is. <laughs> wow. We like popcorn at my house, and, <laughs> and we, we gotta don't. have. They, her kids don't even eat popcorn. I'm so surprised. Oh my god, this is hot. You wanna taste this? Taste this, girl. 
I'm introducing her to something. Let's get popping this hot pepper and this cheesy caramel. Girl, so good. She'll she'll come over to the let's get popping side. But you guys need to try it. The owner's really nice. He's always talking to everybody. He's uh, very social. It was really crowded. <clears throat> Everywhere we went today was really crowded. So, support your black businesses. I hope you enjoyed our little tour. This is part one. We're going to do a part two coming to you soon. In about a few weeks, we're going to go to a few more black-owned restaurants. So, support your black businesses. We need each other. So, if we don't support each other, who's going to support? All right. This was fun. I don't know. But I enjoyed every bit of it. I enjoyed it a lot. And maybe um, next time on the food tour, we can um, visit a few shops, like a boutique or something. Just to see yeah. what's going on. But I enjoyed it, and we'll go a few other places. I have I already got some places in mind. I got them lined up there. I'm not going to even tell y'all yet. Y'all got to come back and see part two. So I hope you guys enjoyed it hanging with the bestie today. You'll see more of her because I'm going to bring her over. Isn't her hair so cute? She's coming over to the natural lane. So, uh, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are in Chicago, drop down in the comments what um, restaurants that we should try next. So if you know a place that we should go, let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I tell you guys this all the time. Don't forget to tell somebody you love them. I love you, Tam. Love you. Hey, we love you.